Hello everyone, my name is Siri Verma and I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. More specifically, I work on the Azure security space, protecting Azure Cloud from network related threats. The thing I like best about Dapper is our stateful workflows. For example, using its constructs like activities, I'm able to checkpoint a granularity where the cost of failures become negligible. And because the cost becomes negligible, I'm also able to recover faster. And the best part is all of this infrastructure is abstracted from developers. Nowadays, I just care about writing item potent workflows and let Dapper handle the rest of the complexity. Yep, this is the best part about Dapper. The problem that TAP has solved for me is my work at Azure Security involves processing millions of data points every day to identify threats. And in order to identify threats, these data points have to enrich with multiple sources. These sources can be either data stores or APIs or other microservices. And the problem, as there are multiple failure points, an issue at any one point causes the whole workflow to restart. And when we are processing this at scale, the latency quite increases. Because this is becoming a burden for us, we were looking at alternatives and we were looking at different actor patterns that were available uh, outside in the open source community. And that is when we found Dapper. And Dapper beautifully solved the issue for us. An important learning moment while using Dapper was its sidecar pattern. While the architecture itself is not new, we were first time exposed to this pattern and the problems we were running into was the sidecar would not start up. Because of this, the actual workflow would run into connectivity issues. So we really had to understand if the sidecar was up, if the workflow is able to talk to the sidecar, and the sidecar has connectivity to the state store. So we all we had to build a proper observability infrastructure metrics and logs to make sure our Dapper clusters are healthy before the workflows even come up. This was a good learning for us and we improved our platform a lot with the observability and metrics that Dapper provides. Would I use Dapper in a similar project? Definitely, because it simply makes the developer life easier. I, as a developer, am incentivized to solve the business use cases. And Dapper is definitely helping me achieve that faster. So why not? Actually, I am currently working on a proof of concept of using PubSub building block of Dapper for our infrastructure. My tip for a new Dapper users would be, when you're orchestrating workflows, make them as atomic as possible. That means break them down into activities and these activities make them as atomic as possible. That is when the actual power of Dapper comes in. Because of its replay and resiliency architecture, your failures from recovery will be pretty fast.